Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Every group has exactly one identity element. Now, before we get into the proof, let's first remind ourselves what an identity element of a group is. Suppose G is a group. Then there exists an element E in G, such that for all A in G, A times E is equal to A, which is equal to E times A. And E is called an identity element of G. Okay, so every group has an identity element. Our goal is to show that every group has only one identity element. So let's get to proving this theorem. Since we're trying to prove a statement about every group, let's give ourselves an arbitrary group. I'll call it G. And the goal from here is to show that G has exactly one identity element. Now we know G has an identity element, but how do we show G has exactly one identity element? Well, let's suppose that G has two identity elements. I'll call them E1 and E2. The whole goal from here is to show that E1 is equal to E2. If we can show E1 is equal to E2, then that will prove that G can only have one identity element. Now to start, what does it mean for E1 and E2 to be identity elements of G? Well, from what we have here, to say that E1 is an identity element of G means for all A in G, A times E1 is equal to A, which is equal to E1 times A. And similarly, to say that E2 is an identity element of G means for all A and G, A times E2 is equal to A, which is equal to E2 times A. Okay, now, since this first statement is true, well, we know that this first statement works for every element in G. So in particular, it must work for E2. So if we take A to be E2, well, then we have that E2 is equal to E1 times E2. Also, we know that this second statement is true. And this second statement works for every element in G. So in particular, it must work for E1. So taking A to be E1, we have that E1 times E2 is equal to E1. So we see that E1 is equal to E1 times E2, which is equal to E2. So these two equalities tell us that E1 must be equal to E2. And this was our goal. So G can only have one identity element. And so this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.